Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. What we're gonna be looking at today is Code Wars. So from my understanding, this is an awesome website that you can learn how to code. Um, and the idea is generally that you, you know, you compete against other people and you kind of do these challenges against other people. And personally, um, and, and, you know, like one-on-one. -on -one. And personally, I think that's an awesome experience, especially if like you're into video games or something like that. So I was very intrigued by this website and I thought I'd make a review of it to let you guys know if it's useful for you and whether or not, you know, it's actually useful to learn how to code. If you're new to the channel, what we do here is we talk about software engineering. I try to use my experience to help you guys become full-time software developers. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out so much and it's completely free for you and you can always unsubscribe. So I kind of made an account and to make an account, you have to answer a coding question, which is kind of interesting. I've never done that before, but it was a really basic question. which just kind of make sure that you're, I guess, into coding. And this is the next page. So I'm going to say that I'm just learning to program. I don't, I'm sure I'll get the weekly challenges and I'm gonna pick JavaScript to learn. So once I save that, let's see what happens. So it looks like there's some sort of, in this kata, I don't know what kata is. I Maybe kata is like a question of some sort. So let's see what happens when we train. So in this kata, I guess kata is like a training exercise. And then there's basically some tips on what to do. And this looks, already this looks super sweet. I mean, there's instructions on the left. Uh, it's just like a solution, uh, like a place to enter your solution, the test that it goes through. And so, I mean, this looks super clean. You can see that, you know, 649 people, 679 people bookmarked it. 88% of users gave it, um, you know, a good rating. And JavaScript is, has actually been used 44,000 times of a total of, you know, 97,000 competitions, I guess. So JavaScript is probably the most popular language. And so let's just like try to go through a question together and see, see what see what it's all about, right? So I kind of implemented a basic solution here using the filter function and it just filters out the numbers. So what happens if we test? All right, so this these tests passed and this looks really cool, I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty sweet, you know, for a complete beginner. Um, what are these, unlock solutions? I guess discuss, you can talk about your, you can look at other people just discussing the problem, which is really great, nice. That's pretty cool. Um, and I guess, can we go back to train again? What happened? Okay, so we're back here. I guess you can unlock the solutions. You can skip the question, the kata, whatever. It's a weird word. I don't know why they called it that, um, but let's attempt. So if we send the question in, then it passes all the tests. We can submit. Cool, so I submitted a, a kata. It says each time you complete it, um, I'm gonna be shown the solution. So, okay, so, okay. So I guess what you can see is other people's solutions. And it looks like other people were using kind of same thing I was doing um, and what we can do now is go to the next one now we're at the next question and it seems like another kind of you know in interview type question technical interview you know lead code type question and you know this is great to see I mean I think doing these kind of small basic problems especially if it's it's starting off so easily like count the number of duplicates these are great exercises for beginners to do to get comfortable with coding and so I think this is awesome so far you can see that a total of 95,000 times this question has been completed and, and 28,000 times with JavaScript. So you can see it's very active. There's a lot of people, you know, using this app, using this like website. And here you can find duplicates, duplicate questions. So what happens here? Okay. So, you know, you can go to other questions. And so, so far I'm very impressed. I think this is awesome. And let's kind of see what other stuff there is here. So your next challenge. So kind of, there's always like a next challenge you can do. Cool. That's really, that's really sweet. So you can train whenever you want. So I, I wonder if training is different than actually competing. Like what I would like to see is like a 1v1, whoever can finish it first kind of thing. You know what I mean? Some more interesting stuff here. I think this is a different type of question, but what you can see here is if you go down, there's like a discussion forum kind of thing and you can have allies. So you, with anyone who's in the same clan as you, this is amazing. I love this website so far. So Kata, how do you pronounce that? Kata? Kata? Um, so you can sort by newest. So popularity. This is the most the most popular question. That's that's awesome. You can filter by language. So like let's say you're trying to learn Go. These are the most these are the most it should like give you the most popular Go questions, maybe not. Um, let's see, the newest Go questions. There you go. 
um, approved, approved in beta. So you can sort by difficulty as well and you know filter them by if you've tried them before or not. And then there's also tags. So you can genuinely like get as specialized as you want and really train on a specific thing. And I think this is really cool. So this is the library. What is collections? To do. Okay, so look. That, this is even more than what I'm saying, right? Basic JavaScript here. I can go in this, go in here and do all these basic JavaScript questions. Some of a mixed array, returning strings, like what we just did. Um, how, let's see, rock, paper, scissors, array plus array. So all of these, these are awesome exercises for beginners. And I think this is the easiest rank, right? Like, oh, basic JavaScript. So yeah, 8KYU, I think would be the most basic one. Yeah, and I think 1KYU, yeah. Um, I don't know what these uh, what these different terms are. Is Q, kata, like is it like Japanese or something? I have no idea. But I, I really think this collections this collections component is pretty sweet. Now let's look at Kumite. Don't know what Kumite is. A long running experiment on Code Wars to see what happens when Code Wars Code Warriors spar each other. Okay, awesome. Um, in karate, Kumita. So it's Kumita. Okay, so it's kind of like chess. You make a question. And then when you publish it, the code provided will be considered the first move. So I kind of make a PR, I merge code, and that's my move. And then the person I'm competing against will respond to that with like forking it, making code, and then merging that code as well. So let's look here. So this, this person made the question, right? So here it is. And then this person submitted a solution and then I guess this person submitted an even better solution and then the submitted okay so you go back and forth to kind of see okay so I think I kind of make sense now so someone posts a question and then what you do is you go back and forth you submit your version which is like okay here's my solution and then if they think they can make a better solution that's either more efficient or less code I'm not sure what the criteria is Probably a mixture of both, like less lines and more efficient. So if you can have a solution like that, you fork it, you submit it again, and that's your move. And then if they can figure out something even more efficient, then they give it to you. So this is pretty sweet. I think I'm actually, I, I think I might play a couple of rounds and like make a video out of this because this looks pretty awesome. Um, and I really, again, like, like look at all these languages they have. This is pretty sweet. And so let's go, let's go, let's see here. What, what's in here? Okay, so then they just have a blog which is pretty basic. Um, they have a forum as well. They have a glitter channel. Like, look at the stuff. You can you can go on here and talk about whatever you want with people that are using Code Wars. Uh, people are talking about different questions, all these katas, whatever. I think this is awesome. You can clearly see there's a really big community in here. Um, and then, you know, there's just a link to their GitHub page. So guys, let's see here. What's this? So there's also a night mode. You can get notifications, look at your profile, whatever you want to do. You can look here that I have, you know, completed four katas. My next rank is a bit. So, you you know, it's there's um there's ranking involved. It tracks your progress. Everything you really need to actually kind of, you know, track your progress and, be, and get better at coding. And it looks like here that there is, is a premium subscription. You get more stats, real-time streaming, faster ex code execution, no ads, head-to-head -head comparison. So compare yourself to another user in the system, do your solutions side by side. So I think this is pretty sweet. $5 a month, $24 each six months. Um, you save a dollar a month if you do this, this option. Um, I, I think for the price point and for what they're offering, I think this is a pretty awesome way to learn how to code, um, especially because you know you can do it, you can do it for free. You can, you can, um, you can have all these collections of different questions. It, it doesn't have to cost you anything and you can do as many questions as you want. I, I think, I don't know if there's a limit on how many questions you can do, but you know, from a, from a first impression, I think this is a great way to learn because you can see other people's solutions. If you're stuck, you can kind of do all these questions. You can trade as many times as you want. And like, look how easy this is. I can just start coding. One of the best things that I love about these websites is that it takes away, you know, all the setup. For me personally, when I was learning how to code, the hardest thing to do was set up my environment and actually start coding. And these websites take all that responsibility, take that away from you and just do it for you, right? So you don't have to set everything up. You can just start coding whatever language you want. Look, anything I can pick, I can just start coding here. And that's really what I love. And this whole UI is great. Um, 
it really is, you know, I think definitely worth it and definitely something you guys should check out. Like look at all these solutions. There's a great community and there's a ton of questions. So um, I definitely give this a thumbs up and I would recommend getting it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know if you would kind of be interested. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing me go up head to head against some other people playing this game. I think that would be pretty sweet. I think I might make a video like that. That seems pretty fun. But as always, guys, you know, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. And it's free for you. You can always unsubscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any experience using Code Wars. Uh, I personally haven't heard about this until recently. And I'm shocked because I think this is a great, great resource. You know, people don't talk about this enough, in my opinion. And so, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, everyone, have a good day and enjoy your coding.